minutes after the water change. Uh, just kind of what I did, um, move some plants around a little bit, uh, just to get a little more visual movement. Um, I always kind of barricade off that corner. I can see who's claiming it already back there. That Walter, I, uh, him and that guy right there, we're doing a dance for a second. Uh, I think he just didn't want any of it. So I think I have definitely found my tank boss, who exactly it is. So, uh, yeah. Water change went good. Um, no hiccups. Uh, I don't think I explained one thing. When I'm doing those totes uh, and putting in the prime, I'm letting that power head mix that up for a while. So, uh, nothing crazy, like two, three minutes um, to really get that chlorine out of there and, and cycled around. So, um, this is real active though. So as I was whiffing stuff and picking up rocks, I pick up the rocks and kind of whiff. There's always uh, detritus material at the bottom. Um, I'd kind of put them way over here. And uh, I started taking out the plants. Actually, I took all the plants out and I put it in tank water because there is bacteria in that, uh, beneficial bacteria. So don't lose that. Any, any chance you can keep that. Um, and then, uh, I was gonna take the rock out, but I just didn't find a need. I went and leveled all the sand. So I've got my little water rake and leveled all the sand for the most part. I mean, I see a little dip here and there, no biggie. Uh, and kind of piled it in that corner a little bit. Um, but leveled the sand and that got a good stir at the same time, because I wasn't getting a lot in the whiff, which is good because that means my tank is going like this, the current going right to those intakes. Now, some people don't have a third one, but I do. Um, so I've got an intake down there, turn low. So I want that anaerobic bacteria. Um, also too, while I was scrubbing it, I could see where I missed the corner. So you have beneficial bacteria uh, on your glass and all my guys were huddled over here since I'd, I was doing the whole bottom, taking out all the plants, um, really kind of disrupting their world. And, and that's why I'm trying to get this anaerobic bacteria because the better I can make this water for longer, the less stress I can give these guys. So, um, you know, maybe a day or two, I'll grab that little magnet scrubber I've got and this is what I'm talking about. You can see the haze. Um, so, but not from there. I scrubbed down here, got across here. They all kind of came back to the corner. I left it at that. So just little things that you can do to try to not disrupt their world because this is it. This is their whole world to them and uh, you control it. So give them a good environment, but at the same time, try to keep them chill. Um, one other thing I do you know, I, I talked about some of the stuff I'm putting in the water before, but when I get that water down to the bottom of that filter, it's pretty low. Um, stress guard is actually good for their fins also. So I go ahead and put all of the water stress guard amounts in. So that kind of gives them like a 10 minute bath to repair their fins. So I, I'm kind of coating them. Uh, if you want to call it that, in theory, I'm kind of just, they're getting a good dose of it for just a moment, you know, instead of just putting it in the whole water table. It's in there, so it's mixed. But in my theory, it's kind of a little higher dose for 10 to 20 minutes, um, 30 minutes, whatever. So, you know, between the two totes, time you dilute it with two totes, it's, it's not that strong. So just kind of, timing uh when i'm putting stuff in um definitely next time i'm gonna get in here and get my tubes i'll clean those tubes up um get the white off of them just so they're kind of 
more disappear. Y'all seen my video in the daytime. You, as you can see, I, I love this tent. This like window film. I don't want to call it tent. It's like a film. It's thick. Um, it gives it that black appearance like you painted it in, in minutes. So it's pretty quick. But uh, I can see my water heater's a little loose over there. So again, this is why a video uh, after water changes, just to look at everything, watch the tank, never walk away from a tank you just worked on. I'm looking at, uh, you know, the wave maker. I'm looking at things like that water heater. It's moving. So I probably wouldn't have caught that. It's not going to hurt anything, but it'd be better if it wasn't moving. So, but you can see the fish. These guys are happy. Um, the earlier video, you can see parameters are spot on. I had four or five days, um, so 34, 35 days. And it could have easily went further um, from what I've seen. So, but you know, I'm trying to keep it clean, trying to give these guys a good environment. And that's, that's what we're doing here, is trying to make a good ecosystem. So it's kind of fun watching these guys right now after I leveled out all the sand, because there was big digs back here. I also spread these rocks apart about another six inches. So maybe make a little more, and I put a, more plants here in the middle. So maybe, I don't know. I, I can break one fish from trying to claim a whole area, which seems to be this guy that, that likes to do that, um, the lemon jake. So, um, yeah, just, uh, it's looking good. I mean, the water's pretty clear already. Uh, after stirring, I mean, I stirred up everything because I wanted that water going out. You know, I just uh, have the pump in there um, after I was whiffing it, did that. <clears throat> then I just put the pump in there, but stirring everything up. So, and I have beneficial bacteria in that sand. So, you know, I'm going to lose a little bit of that. And that's okay, because I've now got 30 days on those filters that I did. So, you know, it's a little of this and a little of that. Um, I try not to make it work. You know, I don't want this to be a chore. That's why I don't have eight, nine, ten tanks anymore. Uh, I've got one in a hospital tank. That's it. Um, a little 20 gallon on the side, but that's, that's it. I want this to be, you know, enjoyable. So, um, maybe shortly I'll go get some more fish. Um, that Tetra stigma, losing that, that was just so weird as a freak kind of thing. Nobody else in the tank got bloat or sickness or whatever the heck that was. Um, couldn't tell you what it was. I, I haven't lost a fish in a very long time, so who knows? Um, he was kind of big, so maybe there was some hierarchy going on that I didn't see. Um, one thing I do have, uh, because I was on vacation, and, and, um, and this happened before vacation, so it wasn't due to feeding irregular anything, really. Um, is, uh, it's just hard losing a fish like that. There's just no, no I don't know what happened, but, um, I don't know where I was going with that, but it's just, uh, I'll be going down to Daytona, kind of get some, some, some additions. That'll be the last addition. I do eight or nine. Uh, that seems to be a good number. You don't uh, just don't put one fish in there. That's that's nuts. That, that never works. Uh, I'm going to get them from the same place. Uh, Daytona Aquarium, Daytona, Florida. Um, they're right by the Speedway, but Billy's always gotten me good fish, good varieties. He knows what I've got in my tank. And I take a video just like this down there and say, hey, check it out. This is what's going on. He knows what I've got in here. He knows how old they are. He knows my water parameters. I've got all these notes. So he, he will know. I want to get something. You know, I got these at cars last time. And they are so, they're always together. Always doing their thing. 
But you know, um, I wanna get some different body styles in here. So, you know, these guys are kinda long, the, the Cara, or um, you know, the, that blue one there, and these two guys, which they kinda seem to do the same thing. When they feed, they feed at the top. Um, you know, the white knight, and they, they just, they look a little different, you know. Walter, uh, ain't, you know, just look at the big fins. So the difference between the haps and the peacocks, the little differences. That guy, I don't know what to do with him because he just is kind of small. I don't want to take him out of here because he's, he's okay. He's safe. He's not getting bullied or anything. Um, but he is just not coloring up. Uh, because of his size. So I'm, I might talk to Billy if he might want to trade him back in or something. I don't know. I just assume keep him because he's cool now with the crew. Uh, and I'm sure he would be kind of aggressive to put him in another tank with fish his size just because he's kind of held his ground in here. You know, who knows? I'll probably just keep him. But, you know, just like I got this guy, a little bit different, something a little different. Um, so this next batch, I might get a little something a little different. I still want to, um, yellow and blue, I forget the name right off, but, uh, and Stigma, I think it was. Anyway, I had one in my last tank and, and having that two-tone color is, is really cool. You got to wait for the color. Just like uh, my tangerine tiger, you know, you gotta wait for that color. Good things come to those who wait. Uh, because he was like all silver in my in my seventy five last last time I did fish, and and uh, one day it was just like holy cow, where'd that come from? You know, it was so cool. And that's the best part about watching these guys, watch them grow. That's why I like doing these videos, so you guys can. It's like having another fish tank, so you guys can see kind of what's going on. Yellow Blaze finally put on some size. I don't know what happened. He's kind of doing his thing. He's getting darker color. So, you know, all good things. Um, giraffe, uh, you know, he, Venustas there. He, he's kind of driving me crazy. I, I know he's got to get big before he hits color, but I really hope that that's a male. And his size is big, so I, I think it is the way he is. I, I, he acts like it, there's, you know, you see how the other fish interact with them, so we'll see. That's gonna be cool. When they turn, they are really cool. So, um, well, I could do this all day, but 13 minutes, that's kind of a long video. I try to keep them short to 10. Hope you enjoyed uh, the update and the colors. I think I'm gonna get a new light. I think that's what's happening. Um, you know, I take this one off and earlier I kinda, it, it looked green or something when it's on the fish light setting. It's the T-U-Y-A. -T Got it on Amazon. Of course, I've seen it on a YouTube video of a, a pretty reputable dude and he did a review. I was like, man, that's pretty cool. Not ex too expensive, honestly. And not that spare any money when it comes to my tank because I want it to be as cool as, as can be, but um, it glitched a little bit. So, uh, and I turned it to 50 and it blinked a little bit. So I don't know if it's maybe because I was moving it. And, and I'm talking, I just set it over here. It comes off and goes straight right there. Like it, it didn't get banged up or anything. So I don't know. I've, I haven't had it, but maybe six months. So we'll see. Um, I'm going to start looking for a light though. Because I think what I'm going to do is go, I'm only on a, uh, four foot light here. So this is it. You can see I could light a lot more in this aquarium. And I still, you know, I go back and forth with that because I kind of want the darkness too. Like give them a little dark space. The middle be the light spot. I don't know. Um, maybe they'll make a light cycle that kind of goes dark and light back and forth. Who knows? Um, that probably wouldn't make sense to an engineer, but I don't know. Maybe I'll stick with the four foot light. I haven't decided, but I, I think that's kind of the next thing I want to do. Uh, worst case scenario, I mean, I add another light because that's only one. You know, that's it. So, 
Um, and I kind of don't like the plug, so it's got to sit here kind of funny. So, you know, the plug kind of... Oh, man, it's got this huge box down here that hooks to it. So it's kind of... I don't know who thought of that. Who, who did that? I don't know. Um, good old engineers. Yeah, I'm sure there's a reason, but... Because there's no, like, drip loop or anything. There's, like, no... I don't know. I would think that would be one piece cord, 12 foot. Call it a day. That way you had enough room to move it this way or that way, run it, run the cord from here to there, whatever you needed to do. 12 foot. Give me 12 feet. One cord, no boxes. So you can see when I move around, they're, they're gluttonous. They're just, they want to eat all the time. So here's a close up of these guys. Almost got to put the light up front just so you can see them. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe I will do. Oh, man, look at his lips. They're like aqua. With the, oh, it is showing up on the video. I'll have to shoot that in slow-mo. Cichlids are awesome. Um, yeah, that light being up here really gets some glowing. That yellow blaze. And that teal. My teal's growing like that. Man, look at that teal on his lip. That's crazy. Yeah, look at that teal right there. That was one of the newer guys. Cool. If you waited to the end, you're seeing something I've never done in this tank. Let's move the, the light to the front. So, anyhow, that's all I did. That's crazy. So, I'll move it back behind the doors there. That's where I leave it. Missing all the action. So, hey guys, take care of your tanks, man. Hope you enjoyed it. Just kind of shooting the breeze here after water change and talk about some stuff. Hopefully, you pick up something. I've been, like I said, I've been doing this for so long. Probably, I don't know, 25 something years. As aquatic biologist for the state. Kind of know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> I guess you could say. But, uh, you know, never, never quit learning. There, there is no Jedi Master, but uh, you can get good at it. So enjoy, guys. See you on the next one.